Hi, how are you doing? I hope you are epically well. You might be thinking by now, Adam, you just showed me like footage of the already unboxed drum kit. Everything's gonna be okay. There's no need to lose your crackers. I just thought it looks really cool. One more point before we smash into the video. I should say, if you like the video so far, if you're liking the vibe, please hit that subscribe button. Press the like button for that YouTube algorithm and we can get smashing to the unboxing video of this drum kit. Hi, how you doing? Today we're gonna to unbox this Sonor SQ1. Ooh, yay! Let's get cracking. I have already had a peek. I'm so sorry. I just got really excited. Let's leave this box for last because it's got all of the random accessory bits in. And also we'll leave this box also for later. It's a Tom holder. Let's get to the biscuits. Let's open her up. Some cool polystyrene. Keep your drums safe. Let's pop that over there. <laughs> well. Hello. Are you excited? Oh yes. See that? Do you see that cams? This is in the hot red. They're actually just about to discontinue it to I think juice of gold and maybe maybe a rosewood, something like that. Great things about these drums made of European beach, made by the same people who build the SQ2 drums. You have this really cool rubber isolated system thing. Word in the street was somehow designed in collaboration with BMW. Oh, that colour's great. Oh, tuning is great. Something's just come from perhaps a little bit high pitched for my weekends, but how that drum looks, that is stunning. Oh la la. Well, let's drop this down here. I'll move this box and it'll get a little bit chaotic in here. I think in here is the, both the bass drum and the floor tom. Lovely, well packaged. What's in this top bit? Should open this bit up quickly. So in this top compartment, we have uh, we have a bass drum felt, two bass drum felts. Hello. And then we have the tension rods and the top and bottom head for what must be the 14 inch rack tom. The bass drum heads for the rezo and the batter for the kick drum and we have two floor tom legs. Number one. What I really like about these is that like that floor tom leg has a slight bit of roughness to it. Three floor tom legs. Okay, let's pop this. There. So now we have this. We have a box and inside we've got the bass drum which has been really well protected by these corner parts. Nothing here. Okay, so we've got the tension rod claw things for the bass drum. We have a drum key. Oh, hey. Uh, let's go. A bass drum protecting thing and more of the tension rods for the bass drum. And now we're on to the drums. Hello. Okay, both these drums don't have the heads on. Saving a little bit of packaging costs. I'm going to drop this camera down quickly. They've kept in two of the tension rods, one here and one here. It's heavy, you know. Show that colour. Is that colour cool? No, come to the bass drum. Okay, so we've got a hoop. These hoops are made of beach, I believe. That a cool little hoop. Jeez Louise. Ugh. Oh, man. Kick drum leg design is so cool. See that? Oh, man. I'm so glad I was able to get this kit in this colour before they discontinued it. Made by my Bezzy. Franza. We meet again. 
I've seen your signature many times now. Thank you for being awesome. So we really need to pop the heads on these drums and see how they sound, don't we? Yo, cardboard has been moved away. So now we are gonna put the heads on the bass drum. I got a little bit of a, a tip. I just learned this from my friend, Mr. Dan Weston. What's up, Dan? Uh, I have here uh, an Evans drill bit thing. And this saves so much time when it comes to putting drum heads on. Let's give you the views. <laughs> this is the resonant head we've got here. My head's SQ1 badge one. It's there, isn't it? Super. Now we're going to open up our pack. One, two. Okay, let's unwrap these. Let me know in the comments whether any of you uh, have got a new kit recently. What do you play? What brands do you like? Do you like Sonal? Do you not like Sonal? Not might be handy. Bass drum hoop. <laughs> Why did you discontinue this colour? They look so good. Got the other head. Power strike free clear. Ooh, drum kit is all in play. All I need to do is just finish micing it up, pop cymbals on, open up Pro Tools and we're ready to hear how it sounds. A few moments later. Hey, so good news. So we've mic'd up the kit, cymbals are on, everything is in place. Pro Tools is recording. That's how you can hear me now. So we're just gonna just see how this kit sounds. I've roughly tuned it, give or take. Uh, let's start off with this 12 by seven tom. 12 by seven, 12 by eight. It's a sound on the screen. Floor Tom. Bass drum.
think you've heard enough of my playing for the time being. I reckon now that the kit is absolutely fantastic. I tried it at some high tunings, some low tunings. Ah, I love it. And it looks so good. If you're looking for a drum kit that's made in Europe, as opposed to of us, us um, Europeans, if we're still classed as Europeans, are we still classed as Europeans if we're in England? Then you can't really go wrong with a sonar. They're very good. Adam approved. If you have the opportunity, please head to your local music shop and check them out. Or if not, I'm sure you'll find a bunch of other videos on YouTube uh, where you can hear sound examples. It's just a great sounding modern drum kit. I've recorded a bunch more audio of me just playing around the drum kit. So feel free to continue watching that. Coming up here on the channel, we've got a few things. Recently, I bought a vintage drum kit, like an actual vintage drum kit, not like the vintage series on a drum kit. I'm going to document the process of how that's being restored. Just a few days ago, I visited a vintage drum shop called Rusty's here in the UK. There'll be a video up about that. I'm also hoping to get hold of a Yamaha EAD10. I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison. Is it worth having the EAD and a phone to make stuff on social media? Or do you need all the gear? Anyway, gotta stop, just I'll keep rambling. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.